Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your Oshun, the one and only. And today we are doing a reading for the week of December 6th through the 11th. I don't read for Sunday, so don't ask me why. All right. And so what we're doing is we're just cleansing out, you know, in between readings and things like that. So how are y'all doing, my beautiful, beautiful Libras? Okay, I'm trying to see what you guys have going on. How are y'all growing? How are y'all glowing? Because y'all know I just love my beautiful Libras. I am a Libra myself. So I am excited to see what we have coming up for the week of the 6th through the 11th. Okay, I'm feeling like a lot of good energy is about to be poured out for you guys. That's just the feeling that I just got right now. Like I just got a burst of energy, a burst of joy. I just felt like somebody is hugging me right now. I'm warming up on the inside. And it's just like... Yes, I'm feeling all good vibes from my Libras right now. Sorry, guys, I was a little thirsty. I had to drink my ginger tea. All right, so what do you have for Libras for the beginning of the week? All right. All right, and what do you have for the middle of the week for Libras? All right. And what do you have for the end of the week for Libras. All right. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull some Oracle cards. So for the beginning of the week, we got Page of Wands in reverse. For the middle of the week, we have Nine of Cups in reverse. And then for the end of the week, we have Six of Swords. Mm. All right, so you have the Strength card, the Allegiance, and the Potential. So at the beginning of the week, we have the Page of Wands. And I just feel like y'all are shifting from, I want to say tiptoeing through life. I feel like y'all are shifting through tiptoeing in life. So I just feel like y'all are shifting out of obstacles, out of um, trying to move uh, carefully. It seemed like y'all feel like y'all was walking on eggshells a little bit. And I feel like now it's like you're about to feel like you can glide a little bit, like you can glide a little bit better through life. So it's just like whatever obstacles you had, it's time for them. They're starting to turn around. Okay. You do have the Hermit card along with the Page of Swords with this strength. And I just feel like that is your inner self. Like, um, I want to say it's your inner voice that's about to start guiding you to move forward. Okay. With the Hierophant in reverse, I want to say that y'all, <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, so you have the, the Hermit, the Page of Swords, and the Hierophant in reverse. And what I feel like is now, you know, you're, you're reassured of yourself, Libra. You're reassured of yourself and you're ready to start moving forward. You're not seeking for anybody else to guide you anymore. You're finding your own strength. I think through your obstacles, you were looking for somebody to assist you, to guide you. And now it's just like at the beginning of the week, you have like this new flow of energy. Like, you know what? I don't need anybody to tell me what I need to do. I don't need anybody to guide me. I, I have myself. I have my intuition. I have my own knowledge. And that's how I'm about to go through it. Okay. Now for some of y'all, this could be... <laughs> somebody coming in to assist you okay i feel like some of y'all have been in the shadows and somebody's coming in to save you okay somebody's coming in to save you and uh take you out of the mindset of you can do it on your own is what is coming to me like you can, it's just like there's two different energies that's coming with this libra Okay, so I have the Eight of Cups in reverse. And what I'm feeling like, I feel like 
Libra for a while, you were um, kind of blocking off your emotions. You're blocking off, you weren't paying attention to something that would pull a lot of emotions from you. Something that would cause you to, to be attentive to someone or something. So you had definitely been ignoring that. Uh, I think you thought you were doing what was, I want to say, maybe best for you. Um, uh, maybe you just didn't want to deal with it. I'm getting the sense that y'all didn't want to deal with it. And that could be you trying to be strong or show your strength. Okay. So you're having to come out of that. So I feel like the beginning of this week, y'all are going to be coming out of that. Y'all are going to be turning that around. Okay. You might be approaching it kind of slowly. Okay. You're not going to come in and just cut that person off. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all are reconnecting. Okay. Some of y'all are coming out of the hermit mode and you're going to be reconnecting with somebody. Okay. And you have the three of swords in reverse. And it's telling you to move slow because I feel like a lot of y'all are still hurt behind this situation. Something still hurts you. That's the reason why you don't want to deal with it. But it's telling you to be strong as you approach this. And it's just like, um, this is not going to be an obstacle. This is nothing that's going to be icy. This is something that you're going to be able to go in. And it's, going, it's not as bad as you think is what I want to say, Libra. You're thinking that you're going to have to tiptoe. You're going to have to make sure you don't break the ice. You're work, walking on eggshells. But it's just telling you, once you get in there or you start communicating or you start doing whatever it is that you need to do with this situation, that is kind of hurtful. Um, I mean, where you're still trying to heal from it or you haven't really fully healed from it. It's just telling you to take it slow. Don't feel like you have to go right in. Like, just take your time. Go slow. Start with a small conversation. Start small okay and just take a cup at a time okay don't ignore your emotions that's not what you need to do at all don't um and don't ignore the situation just take take steps okay so you have the nine of cups in reverse for the middle of the week and i just feel like <laughs> with the vow and the allegiance i feel like you're coming back to yourself okay you're gaining your powers back you're gaining your energy back. You're gaining your self-love back, okay? Okay, I feel like you're gaining your stability back. Because in reverse, it's like, this is what's coming out, okay? And I feel like you're actually receiving it. Like, you're about to receive that energy back right now, okay? Like, the universe is, like, you're back connecting with the universe. You're back connecting with your higher, your higher self. So it's just like that burst of energy is being poured back into you, okay? So whatever you've been putting out, it's time for you to, it's, it's like pouring back in, all right? So I know y'all probably like, that's not what the Nine of Cups mean. I'm telling you what the energy is that I'm pulling off of it right now. I feel like your spirits are about to pour into you, okay? Some kind of magical heightened sense is about to be given to you, okay? It's like you're about to receive something, Okay, you've been putting out a lot of, you've been pouring out a lot trying to find your joy. And it's like you're not finding your joy. So now, something is about to be given to you. And it's, it's not material-wise, it's more of a spiritual-wise that's going to allow you to, um, it's going to allow you to grow or to move forward within this week, Libra. You have the seven of wands and i feel like you're this is the time where you're trying to find your way okay i feel like you're trying to move away <laughs> from uh you're moving away from something that you thought was going to be a new beginning okay Okay, you also have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Something didn't serve you. Something didn't give you the outcome that you wanted. I feel like some of y'all were looking for family. Something, uh, y'all were moving towards family. Maybe you thought you were going to start a family with somebody. Or maybe you thought you were about to start a new position. Uh, I feel like whatever it is that you thought you had, um, that you were pouring out, you realized that it wasn't enough, it wasn't worthy, or it didn't work out. Something didn't work out. It didn't turn out to be what you expected it to be. So that is like you're gaining your, you're taking it back. Like you're vowing to yourself, like to not get lost trying to seek things anymore. So it seems like you were seeking a family life where it's just like that new beginning and it didn't happen for you guys. 
So in this midweek, it's kind of like a wake up. So <laughs> I think for some of y'all, y'all might be refocusing like, okay, I'm off of relationships. Um, okay, so I did pull the Emperor card. So it's just like you're back on your you're back on your shit, Libra. You're back focused on what it is that you want, okay? You're you're thinking about what you want, what you need to move forward, what you need to get stability, what you need to be grounded, okay? So you're off of whatever energy it was where you thought that you needed something because something didn't work out for you, Libra, and now you just over it and you're back regaining your focus. Something came in and changed your focus, changed your desires. All right, so towards the end of the week, you have the, the Six of Swords with the Potential, and I'm seeing Guidance. And with the Potential card, I'm feeling like a lot of y'all have the potential to probably guide people. So this, I feel like, might be in a uh, entrepreneurial, a job setting, um, a, career, a career for you. So maybe some of y'all are looking to go into a career where you are... Um, helping people deal with their tower moment who are who aren't wanting things to fall apart you're about to start guiding people and allowing like guiding them in to having a tower moment and dealing with it in the meanwhile you're helping people deal with their chaos and i want to say libra i feel like everything that you just went through is what's strengthening you to go through this new path of guidance you have the will of fortune so i feel like you're going to be dealing with people who are blocking their own um their own movement of moving forward. You're about to come in and help people deal with the chaos that's around them, okay? You're going to help them uh, change that will of fortune, change things, how they view things, how they see things, how they think about things, and show them that things falling apart is a great way. For some of y'all, y'all could be going into a broken home. That's what I'm feeling like. Y'all could be dealing or communicating with somebody who is in a broken home. All right, and then it shows you have the oh did I say oh that's it ten you have the nine of pentacles so it seems like this is going to be really fulfilling for you this is going to be something that you enjoy this is something that's going to bring enlightenment I'm also hearing Oshun vibes maybe because I'm an Oshun but this does look like a sunflower this is giving me sun vibes as well as you coming together with people and finding um, happiness and joy or bringing in happiness and joy I do hear that this is going to take a lot of work but you have the potential to be great at it I feel like it's going to bring you in financial stability um i feel like it's going to allow you to be creative as well okay so yeah i feel like it's going to allow you to be creative as well so you might have a new opportunity presenting itself towards the end of the week that allows you to be some kind of guidance some of y'all might be becoming counselors some of y'all might be thinking of a new role um, within your job where you're guiding people you could be guiding people in your job uh, you might be thinking of a new entrepreneur move that you want to make, a new business move, but it just seems like you're going to be guiding somebody, okay? For some of y'all, it might not even be a paid thing. It could be something that just brings you joy and fulfillment, okay? So the card that I pulled for the shadow work for this week of the 6th through the 11th Libra is Envy. Remind yourself that no one has it all. It's okay to celebrate other success. You are truly good enough. So it seems like as you're going through these things, you might be feeling like, why haven't I achieved certain things as you're seeing other people achieve it? But just remember where you are where you are, and just always remember that you are in the position of life where you're supposed to be. Just because you thought you were about to get something all that you wanted, I just want you to take the middle of the week um, and remind yourself of this envy shadow where right, that things don't flow for a reason, things don't grow for a reason. So for whatever it is that was protecting you and allowing you to grow. All right, Libra, this is a beautiful reading for you guys because it looks like y'all are about to walk into some newness and some self-serving things that also serves others. All right, Libra, be great.